Just one day after final farewells, an urgent plea for action. In an emotional testimony before the House Judiciary Committee, George Floyd's younger brother, Philonese, encouraged lawmakers to ensure his brother's death was not in vain. Make the necessary changes that make law enforcement the solution and not the problem. Hold them accountable when they do something wrong. Teach them what it means to treat people with empathy and respect. Teach them what necessary force is. Teach them that deadly force should be used rarely and only when life is at risk. Two and a half weeks after George Floyd's death, changes are already in the works in the city where he was killed. On Wednesday, the Minneapolis police chief detailed his plans to reform the city's police department. As chief, I am immediately withdrawing from the contract negotiations with the Minneapolis Police Federation. I plan to bring in subject matter experience and advisors to conduct a thorough review of how the contract can be restructured to provide greater community transparency and more flexibility for true reform. George Floyd's killing sparked a wave of calls for sweeping reforms to law enforcement. But with the presidential election just five months away, Democrats are hoping to strike a balance in answering calls for change without turning away more centrist voters. Earlier this week, Joe Biden rejected growing demands to defund the police, a refusal that's being met with increasing hostility among the Democratic Party's more progressive wing.